and actually taking that chance and being fearless into jumping into a new opportunity not knowing that it may or may not work out but still believing that it will absolutely and then not being disappointed by it not working out because you've set no expectations it was more of an opportunity to help you learn what you may need, you may need to do for your for your next big opportunity absolutely even if this fails people don't take that step no they don't even take that first step of course not to open themselves up to the real to an opportunity that can really change their lives absolutely right because if, if they're already scared we know too much because we know too much we're too scared exactly it's like we go this way we fuck up we go this way we fuck up right we're going there's this infinite way. possibilities we we're, we we're running our, through those we don't just execute and find out we don't tell ourselves that it's gonna work of course not we don't tell ourselves and we don't let we don't allow ourselves to be honest with the fact that it may not work out yeah that we are going to fail but without failing we don't know what it would let feel to succeed we wouldn't appreciate all the hardships that gone through that process of how many years right of how long it would take it's just about staying consistent it's about telling yourself that it's this is a part of you creating your own self you're creating your reality you're creating your path so that you can share it with other people that's what you're here to do exactly right you're here to get there first yeah you can't help people no. you have to live in an you experience you have to it. live it first that's why all these guys are older and there are a few that are lucky few who have got to a place in their lives early young to kind of be successful and being able to help others right for sure and that's why for so many years, people are so jaded as they get older. Yes. So when someone who has made it and then they come up with something that wants to help people, people immediately be like, oh, that's a scam. Right. Because they're, they're, it's ingrained now. It's, of course. It's habit. It's a box that they live in. Right. And it's very, it's, a, it's very evident in anything, in any new opportunity that's very foreign to them. For sure. It's a scam. Right? It's, every, it's, it, it's real for them to think that way. Of course. Because things have They've created that out. reality or that sense. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a it's, it's a, a escape mechanism. It's a it's a form of being. Is a being right? You're you you're in a be a state of being. Yes. A state of being, whether it be negative or positive, you're always in the state of being. Whatever your thoughts are consistently thinking of, you're in that state of being, so you're attracted. Yeah. And that becomes your reality. Of course. And. The reality becomes everything that you see, everything that you feel, and everything that becomes attracted to you, and that's why things always perpetuate. Things always are a cycle. Why isn't things working out? Why am I always failing? Right. Blah, 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 this and that, right? You have to kind of look at it as, I'm here to learn. I'm here to, okay, there's some signs here, some girl, this girl may be bad for me. This business opportunity, I don't know about this business opportunity. Right. But I still have to take the chance. Yeah. The worst, there's a worst case scenario is living in regret. Of course. You can take that chance and completely eliminate regret. And that's what I think we should strive for, right? It's just to go in there and know that we went for it and it didn't happen or didn't pan out. There's really. still, there's still learning and growth in that But the answer is still there. Yeah, of course. The answer is there and it's for you to take that lesson and move forward. Yes. That's it. It doesn't have to be hard. No. It doesn't. No. But it's because the emotions make it very difficult. For sure. The fear makes it difficult. All these things make it very difficult for anybody from, like, you know, your average Joe to make those tough decisions for themselves. Because they... Well, when you give up that opportunity or that hope or that, that neutral space, the potential, and you just simply give it to somebody else to make that decision for you and you make that a habit it's just like anything like when kobe used to talk and he was talking about you know practice and allowing the kids to just get away with missing that shot or not touching the line it becomes a habit it becomes a consistent accumulative process of allowing for less allowing for mediocrity or allowing for not living out the experience and finding the value in it you have to believe that you're not going to be good at everything and that with work and practice, you get good at stuff. Exactly. And it goes with everything. Yeah. Like everybody's like, look at your life. You're not, you're not good at cooking. You got good at cooking. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're, you didn't, you weren't good at cleaning. You got good at cleaning. And yeah. those are like life skills, right? Of course. 
you know um, there's things that you hate to do but needs to be done and regardless you have to get it done exactly like you know just like uh, you discipline did, commitment yeah, dis- dis- discipline far outweighs motivation yes you know you see this a lot and discipline is key to everything even just breathing breathing people aren't aware of their breathing and breathing mm-hmm. is key to living <laughs> to yeah live, right like we don't even understand the power of what breathing can help us do even when we're hungry yeah like more oxygen in our blood cells can actually help alleviate hunger right it ha- um more oxygen more oxygen into your body can help uh, create a better immune system absolutely 100% right? it's all centering it's, yeah it's it all builds all, the and, center and this process is free. yeah this is it's just that it's been been hidden the information is there but if you don't know if you don't know uh, what to look for or how to look for it you're never going to find right. it because you're unaware of what 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 happened like breathing you know people just don't know how effective breathing can be in your health absolutely like just breathing alone and that you can do that anytime it's not even about you having no time either right like that's crazy yeah think about that is crazy that is because even sitting yeah like now it's coming to the realization that sitting is very bad for you it's now a disease and all these things very true right because sitting you know collapse shoulders um uh, and then now that, that that affects your breathing, of course, it affects, compresses your joints. Yeah, and, and then compresses like your, hips, your freedom your, of your, your movements. Yeah, not activated. Yeah. You, you create more back pro- back problems, but it's right. not your back. Yeah, it's yeah. more hips. Yeah, yeah. And things like that. So even like even even to just understand at that level that breathing can create all those issues. Like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I just it's just it's just. When you get to even just to simplify it to the basic life, I mean, ba- like breath gives life. Yes. And we don't even know what it's about. <laughs> right? The we breath. haven't taken the time or, not at all. or the uh, appreciation. We're not even aware of it. Yes. It's so habitual that it's second nature, which is, it's just, we just breathe, but we're not, you know, breathing through the chest is creates stress. Of course, the chest, fight or uh, flight breathing yeah, technique. Anxiety, yeah, anxiety, anxious breathing, right? Yeah. But through the diaphragm, we're not taught. That's what babies, right. babies, they breathe from the diaphragm. Of it's natural. And look at their natural expression. It's always of curiosity. Yeah, and, and then uh, yeah. even breathing, the crazy thing about breathing is, what I've learned is that it helps you determine problem areas in your body. Absolutely. Tightness. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's trippy, man. It's like when I even really think about um, the extent of how you can, uh, what is it? It's reflection. It's almost a term of, uh, it's a way, it's a technique yeah. to understand like, where your body's at. If it's sure. that level. You know, it's practicing you, the pause. It's if you, really, if you know how to do it properly, you can feel where you're, you're yeah. tight. Yeah. Right? And you can help alleviate it. Exactly. That stuff. So. Because you're not getting the oxygen flow into that component or that area. Because no. you'll feel it. It'll like yeah. spasm out. It's, yeah, it's tight. Yeah, yeah. Like, as you're circulating your breath in yeah. a proper intentional yeah, manner. That's crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't want to keep saying crazy, but people just don't know. Yeah. How much knowledge is out there? How much power is yeah. that knowledge? You know, when you see these people... At who, the basic who, level, the human interactive level, or the, the most important interactive level, which is between ourselves and amongst the next person beside you and how powerful that could be we're not even breathing properly so of course you're sick of course you're getting sick yeah you know of course you're having issues right of course you're having um illnesses come up and low energy yes right that's a big key that's a big big thing for sure low energy yeah you know and um and if you're comfortable there you'll keep inviting that type of input anyways well if you don't know you know, and you, you kind of mask it with all the... It's me as well, yeah. If you mask it with everything else that's uh, that's out there to help you distract yourself from the problems. You know, first of all, we're not educated. We're not informed about these these practices, right? We don't, we're not even told how important how we breathe is. Right. Um, and we're not taught. There's nothing... Like you ha- you got to seek and you got to know. Like, nobody knows. Right. And then we get... We grow... Our bodies adapt, 
and everything becomes normal. Right. And you accept there's a there's a level of acceptance instead of a level of uh, growth at the forefront of your choices. It's, it's not even or, well. It's just the solution is to inform yourself. Yes. I don't even think like most of us are uninformed. So it's not our fault, but it is our fault if we do come across this information, don't do anything about it. Yes. But if it's, you know, you never know, like how you're supposed to know. So if you have problems from, you know, not breathing, I, like it takes, it takes just like the mind and muscle theory. It's the same thing, same practice, mind and muscle, mind and breathing. Like the breathing, you got to be aware of the breathing. You got to think about how breathing affects certain things and I, 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 it worked for me at times when I'm hungry I would take deep breath breathe from the diaphragm the hunger kind of goes away yeah the hunger pains is especially yeah for sure yeah away, so. I do the same it singing. works singing oh yeah for sure breathing singing yeah sports yeah of course Everything. like how important that is swimming yeah swimming is amazing for you yeah so the buoyancy and the pressure takes off in gravity in that sense uh, I just think uh, this is our Friday night vibe, Friday night growth sesh. It's just the one. It's just we're just on it. It's just <laughs> we're in the zone. Growth. I think people should start there, just understanding. And you, when you meditate, when you first learn how to meditate, yes. the first thing they teach you is to focus on your breathing. Center your breathing. And so, you, know, you could pay thousands of dollars to go to some place to teach you how to breathe, but now we got YouTube. <laughs> yeah right, so. you're paying more for the experience and the uh community and the almost i think sometimes when people make that decision they feel like they need that influence one and two it's a little bit of a it might be a little bit of like an ego pride thing right like when you go and talk to your group of people after the event or the experience it's something you can have a real strong conversation piece or have Lots of confidence behind it. I think right? it's about a support group, though. Yeah. There's some people who can succeed with people around them, like-minded people. Yeah. I'm, who are going through the same right. process at yes. the same time. And that's, that's very powerful. We it are is, humans that need to connect. Like, yeah, we definitely need to connect. We're social creatures. Yes. And uh, it's... Uh, but, you know, you really don't need it. No. Um, it has to be in balance, right? It can't just be... Um, always in a group because there's going to be quiet times where you have to figure it out yourself. You just need to understand what your body needs to excel and to do the things that you want in life. You have to work with one with everything that you are. Okay. From your mind, your body, and so on. This is like you have to connect in a way of balance. Yes. You know, like it's all about balance. And balance is thrown out there a lot. Yeah. Because... It's, it's just a very use, useful, loosely, loosely used term. But it's a useful term that but people can don't spark know what intrigue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people don't know what balance is. They yeah. don't know how to balance anything. No. It's, we're all, we're all, we're all. We're That's all always people. a work in progress. Let's be honest. It is. You're never going to balance everything out, but you but can you definitely. Can. You can strive for yes. it. And you can be aware of it. Yeah. You can be aware of it. And that's just a win. For sure. Just being aware of that you could be out of balance. You can work. Um, you can work to better a certain part of your life. For sure. Right? And it will definitely help. It's not... You know, I do it every day. When it's a habit, that's how the change is made. It has to be a habit. Because you're committed. Conscious decision making. Choices. Shazam! <laughs> yeah, it's just this guy is all wisdom. We're all wisdom tonight. That's how we roll. Now we're going to get into some music. The answer is always inside, man. Yeah. I said to... When you kind of take away from everything that's going on in the world, you got to still understand what's going on. You got to still sure. pay attention and things like that. Not so much that it occupies your day. That takes, right. takes you away from your day. Right. And, and, and for you to build and focus on your dreams and building that. Yes. You can't let it take that space. Right. Um, but it helps to know what is going on because it'll help you see the truth. Yes. And you have to, it's all about, it takes it away from you. You need to work on yourself. You, yourself, you're a universe, you're a world. Yeah. So when you look at that and you look at 
the bad things that are going on in the world. There's bad things within you. There's things that you are not good at. Of course. There's things that you're messing up in. Of course. But there's also there's a good side of you where you're caring, you're loving, you're understanding, you're forgiving. There's that part of you too. So if you look at yourself as the world and a reflection of it, you are a reflection of it. You are the good. You are the bad. It's what you want to focus on. Right. It's what you're going to feed. Right. And well, and I mean, every event is neutral, but the lens that you've created or you've experienced up to that point. How you respond to yeah. it in general, you know? Yeah. You have to understand other people. You have to understand how this works. You have to understand that if uh, an external entity is taking taking away your focus about what you need to achieve for your own self, you're not winning. They win. Yeah. That's the only goal. That's their goal. If they take your mind and your heart away from what it is that you want to achieve, it took, took a while to get here, but that's very real. That's why there's some people who are very successful. They know what's going on, but they'd be like, hey, but you know, I still live my life. I still live a good life. It's because they focus on what they need to do, you know, only what that person can do. Right. Versus that's just the same as me. I, I do what I can do. Like, I love music. I love, I want to get better at it. I want to make a living out of it. So I work at it. Right. I know what it feels like to be on the other end. I know what it feels like to kind of, see a future of 30 years of doing the same job over and over again and knowing that I don't want to do that. So it doesn't have to be hard. It could... Like, you I, get up every morning and that's your choice and you remind yourself of that. It's obviously going to push you in the direction that you want to really formulate or create for yourself. You have to believe in yourself. Yes. You have to build the trust within yourself. Ask yourself... Just ask yourself the question of this. Ask yourself this question. If you were a follower and you're leading and you're following the leader, you as the follower don't have to think so much because you believe in the leader. Who is the leader following? Who is the leader listening to? Himself, herself, whoever the leader is. They believe in themselves so much that they are willing to take accountability for when, even if they make the mistake. Right. Because they don't always know where to do or what to do, but they're going to trust themselves anyways. Right. They're going to take accountability on themselves, knowing that it could go wrong. Absolutely. And that they can have 50 people behind them, 100,000, a million. Right. They'll take that on themselves to be, I fucked up. That's the leader. Right. Because they're not following nobody. No. They build an intuition. Right. They build all these skills to allow them to make the right decisions, to discern information the right way, the proper way. So I just think about that alone. I don't even I don't even think I've seen it anywhere. It's just like followers follow, but they don't even think of who they're following. Right. Who are these leaders that they're following thinking about? Who are they to lead you? If you're that person, if you can't be a leader for yourself. Yes. So if you're not developing critical thought as not at all. again on your not on your decision making on a you know, day to day or even event to event basis, which is infinite events, uh, you get strung out, right? You get pulled in every di different direction. There's no consistency and you become an emotional roller coaster or you become, like you said, a follower. And you you relinquish or you get rid of your own critical it's thought. Power. It's yeah. power. You are the leader of your life. Yes. And if you are not a leader of your life, you're only following. So what are you following? If you don't know what it is that you're leading into. Yourself. So how do we get back to leading? Would it be exactly what you just said? Not, if not. you recognize that you've now turned into a follower, because that can happen. A leader can be broken. People can be broken in events. If you are a follower, I'm going to say this right now. Not everybody's going to be a leader. No, heck no. But you have to learn how to lead your own life. Yes. In terms of leading other people, that's a very difficult thing and a very, very, it's a very strong thing to do for someone who can take that role. So I think being able to lead your own life is very important, very valid in terms of just being a leader in general. Yeah. Because you got to still make the decisions. You know, and if you find a partner, a life partner, to help you make those decisions, that's great. And then you still need to lead. You still need to make decisions about what to do or how to do things. Or right. when problems, or when problem comes up, you make decisions on how to solve it. It's, it's the same thing with relationships. It's just, what can you do? 
It has nothing to do with the other person. People right. are the most difficult to deal with. Of course. Because you can't control that shit. No, you can't. You no, can't no, control, no. You can't control other people. You can't change other people. No. You just have to believe in your ability that you you did your best, but you can't even you can't even judge the other person because you're so you're so involved with yourself sometimes that you fail to see that the other person may be struggling. Yeah. Like the other person don't know what they want, and because they don't know what they want, things don't over, things aren't going well or don't are not. Going like I well. just said, you know, three minutes ago, they're an emotional roller coaster and things are pulling them in different directions because they're just simply not in enough control or they've relinquished too much of that leading of them oneself and finding the input to help them navigate or construct their own why, their own story and staying consistent with that. I think we just rambled. No. No? No. Yeah, leaders, uh, I think right now in the world, 2020 especially, a lot of followers out there, a lot of people listening. We need leadership back for sure. We need real leaders yeah. back. We need, we're all sitting here and just like... We need sit, heroes, right? We we're need... S- we're letting city council dictate shit, right? You know, no one's voting for anything anymore. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Right, like people are just making the calls. Yeah. And that's city council. Yeah. And then we all, what can we do about it, right? We all feel helpless. In terms of what we disagree with, and <clears throat> yeah. how do we make these changes happen? How? I don't. I. I don't have the answers. I don't have all the answers. But these are good questions to ask. It's just, just great leaders ask great questions. Yeah, and or they're proposed with great questions. Yes, um, that's what can develop leadership. If you are looking with it in a very, I guess, progressive or growth lens and somebody asks you a question or pose a question even if it sounds outlandish who's to say you can't find some positivity or some type of learning from those said questions well infinite there is, there is such thing as a stupid question yeah you think so yeah yeah because stupid questions give you stupid answers <laughs> that's true enough yeah right um if you were to kind of uh, if you ask the question, why don't I have more? Why don't I have more money? Right. Well, you didn't bust your balls to get it. Or how is your spending ass? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Right. Like it's just one of those things. Or yeah. You know, it's just it's all about the train of thought. It's all about how you think. So. Manifestation is real. And it's the worst issue. So instead of saying, "How come I just keep? Why don't I have money?" versus "How can I make more money?" Right. Not even how. Why don't you find out why you want to make more money? Because if you're always focusing on the how-to, that can already bring up that construct or bring up the immediate doubts or fears because it triggers that. If I focus on my why and what my willingness is to get to that said why, and I focus on those strategies, and that becomes a cyclical event or a cyclical habit, I remove some of those barriers. When I look at some type of an event, and the first thing I look at, it says how... How am I going to? I think as con- opposed to why? Context. Though. Yes. It's all about context. Yeah. Because before you get to the why, you got to know how. Mm-hmm. In terms of making money. Because when you talk about why, that could be a passion. It could be something that you... It's not about the money, but it becomes about a why. Yeah. yeah. Right? Why do you want to make more money? It's like, I want to have more money so I can pay my bills. That's a necessity to pay your bills. So... How can I make more money when you're in? See, this is context though, right? So yeah, context, so you can't pay your bills. How can I make more money rather than I don't have enough money to make my bills? Right. Versus how can I make more money to pay my bills? Right. That language in itself is vastly different. For sure. So then it becomes to why. Why do I need to pay my To live. See, you, you kind of, see, it's all about context mm. where the why comes in a place of already not struggling a little bit to like why well if we're talking specific on the money subject i get that i was taking it another layer in the sense of what is my why can a byproduct of that said why pay me dividends in the sense of money in the sense of relationships that's what i was kind of conjuring up and if i focus on that not concerning yourself about that said money and going back to the how to so I can interrupt that social 
or that inner talk that we have with ourselves that can simply say, well, now at the how there's so many infinite possibilities that could spark or trigger some insecurities or fears. It can, especially if I'm struggling in this current moment of not having enough, not having a place of abundance. When I go into the how to at that point with that current state, remember we mentioned state before, if you're talking at it at that level and you have that how to moment that sparks that. So context is very much true. Yeah, it's all about context. It's but we always want to focus on our why and our willingness to get there. It's but yes, context always matters. Context. But you can control context with what you were talking about at the beginning, which is always your why and your dreams and your passions. Because then you're living your life on your own terms. And it really makes a difference for you. Thanks for tuning in. What a vibe. Unreal.